Hello again and welcome to the latest bulletin from Haverhill UK News brought to you by Haverhill TV. In the news for today, Friday the 1st of March, a woman has been injured in fighting off a hooded intruder at the Ratting Road Dental Practice. How the fate of the Burton Centre in Haverhill could become a national test case for the government's localism agenda. And the town clerk foresees difficult decisions next year after town councillors agree to freeze their share of council tax for another 12 months. A woman fought off a violent burglary attempt at the dentist's in Ratting Road late on Tuesday afternoon and was injured in the process. Police are appealing for witnesses after a female staff member was injured when a hooded man tried to force his way into the practice. The incident occurred at around 5.40pm when the woman, a dental technician, had gone out to the bins at the rear of the building. She became aware of someone approaching from the car park behind, so she went quickly back inside but as she tried to close the door behind her, the offender attempted to push it back open and force his way in. There was a struggle in which the woman suffered cuts to her head when the door was pushed back against her, but she succeeded in keeping the attacker out and managed to close and lock the door. The offender is described as a white male who was wearing a hooded top. Anyone with information in relation to this incident should contact PC Jason Thomas at Haverhill Police Station on 101 or Crime Stoppers anonymously on 0800 555 111. Haverhill Town Council is to pursue its legal challenge to the decision not to pass the Burton Centre over to it after being advised it has a case for a judicial review. Suffolk County Council decided to give the building to St Nicholas Hospice as an outreach centre instead of to the Town Council as a base for youth activities. The County has been talking to the Town Council about other properties for youth purposes. But Town Councillors say it is ridiculous for the Hospice to spend £500,000 on converting a purpose-built youth centre while hundreds of thousands are also spent adapting another building to that purpose. Town Clerk Will Austin told members at this week's Town Council meeting this could well become a national test case about the government's localism agenda. He has had legal advice via the Suffolk Association of Local Councils, known as SALC, and been advised the Town Council has a case to go to a judicial review. SALC and the National Association of Local Councils are now inquiring into available external funding to bring the case. But talks are also taking place about alternative premises for basing youth facilities if the legal challenge does not go ahead or if it fails. Mr Austin said he had looked at the former courthouse in Camps Road, at the White Hart pub, which is up for lease at present, at the former co-op in Jubilee Walk and at the Crown Health Centre, none of which gave him much confidence they would be suitable. Haverhill Arts Centre has announced it has teamed up with the National Theatre to broadcast live link-ups to some of their best productions. It is made possible through the Arts Centre's new digital projector, which links directly to the National Theatre and projects the play onto the cinema screen. The first production will be Alan Bennett's long-awaited new play, People, which you can see on Thursday, March the 21st at 7pm. It stars Francis de la Tour, Linda Bassett and Selena Cadell and has been receiving excellent reviews. Unlike normal cinema screenings at the Arts Centre, the seating for people will be reserved. There will also be an interval. Tickets are £14 or £12.50 for concessions or real culture members. To book, call 01440 714140 or go to www.haverhillartscentre.co.uk. The Conservative group on Haverhill Town Council has elected a new leader. Councillor Betty McClatchy will now lead the group after the post was vacated by Councillor Brian Hawes when he left the party to become an independent councillor. And finally, council tax in Haverhill is set to remain the same as in previous years after the Town Council agreed this week to another freeze on its share. But there was a warning from Town Clerk Will Austin that this cannot go on indefinitely and members need to be prepared to take what he called difficult decisions next year. 
The standstill in the town council's precept for council tax has been achieved by the use of reserves, which were built up by an increase two years ago, agreed to safeguard the arts centre. This will soon have been used up. A new government system for calculating council tax could see the town council lose as much as £129,000 from its £900,000 a year budget next year. Mr Austin said some community activities provided free for residents would have to be reviewed by councillors this time next year. And on that cheerful note, that's all for today. Join us again on Tuesday, and meanwhile, keep up to date by going to www.haverhilluk.co.uk or following us on Twitter. And don't forget my weekly Heart of the Matter video blog tomorrow. It's still so cold. What's the weather going to do over the weekend? <laughs>